All roughly 100 U.S. armored vehicles that have evacuated northeast Syria in a convoy have arrived in Iraq, while a few hundred other American troops will remain in southern Syria to guard the oil fields there. Fox News' Steve Harrigan is in Iraq with all the latest. Steve. That's right. The U.S. forces began their withdrawal early this morning. More than 100 military vehicles now all in Iraq. Some bitter scenes of parting captured on camera as the U.S. forces were pulling out. Some Kurdish civilians pelted armored vehicles, some with rocks, some with potatoes. A lot of screams and swears at the U.S. forces as well. This was a close partnership for five years between U.S. forces and Kurdish fighters. They fought the Islamic State together really side by side. A lot of Kurds dying in that fight, but now a real sense of bitterness. The Kurdish military leadership feels they have been betrayed by the U.S., and there's a lot of fear on the ground. People are afraid that they could be facing ethnic cleansing or even worse, some slaughter. The real question is, will this ceasefire hold? It expires 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night. Turkey's foreign minister has already warned that if all Kurds don't get out, all Kurdish fighters out of the buffer zone inside of Syria, they will relaunch their military offensive. So the numbers we've seen, hundreds of dead on both sides, 200,000 people plus on the move. Those numbers could rise again unless Turkey is satisfied with what the Kurd fighters have done. Back to you. Steve Harrigan, thank you for that live report.